weather app. Deputies now believe they know where a pack of wild dogs has been living and finding food on James Island. So far, authorities have trapped three wild dogs, including one today. Nicole Johnson was there for the capture. Animal control deputy Scott Rarick is on patrol for wild animals. Today, he headed to the Ben and Honey Hill Road area on James Island to check on a trap he set out, trying to catch stray pack dogs. Sure enough, this dog took the bait. Just like what you see here, um, they're, they're, they're skittish, they're unsocialized, they're afraid of humans. Based on all the information we've been getting, we've been, been able to narrow it down. We believe they're coming from this area. Deputy Rarick prepares a cage and grabs the catch stick. This is how we safely contain the dogs. To take the dog to the pound. He says because the animal is wild, it's scared to death of humans. The dog tries to break free, even bites at the catch stick. Deputies believe the dogs are living in these woods and making paths to get to other parts of the island. And that's why they say they'll be setting out more traps in this area. Those living on James Island say these dogs are a nuisance and scary because they have attacked or killed pet cats. In Honey Hill, neighbors want them gone. They look short little brown dogs, but this high right here. And um, they just, they look like a pit bull in a lab mix. Especially late at night, they turn over the garbage can and attack people's cars, trucks, and just will come down the highway, down the road. So they need to do something about it. Once they're captured, strays are taken to the Charleston Animal Society. Then vets test the animal's temperament to see if it's dangerous. If it can't be rehabilitated to become a family pet, the animal is put down. Debbie? All right, Nicole, thank you. Deputies say to keep the pack away, you should report stray dog sightings, keep trash cans covered, not leave food on porches or patios, and bring outdoor pets inside.